Hey everyone, today we're going to do 7-6 practice and problem solving over the surface area of prisms. This is my bunny bubbles and you ready to get to work on prisms? I got a dry erase board. You're definitely going to want to have paper and pencil out in your math notebook to do this. So I'm going to help you have a calculator too. I'm going to be using my uh, iPhone to uh, to do it. So let's let's have some fun bubbles. You ready to do some surface area? Yes. Hi. All right, guys. I'm going to put bubbles right next to me. And I got my dog Cooper over here ready to go. My wife cut my hair again because we're still learning how to cut hair and we have to groom Cooper. Okay. Find the surface area of the prism. All right. So basically with surface area, we got to find the area of this triangle here, guys, which is congruent and the same as this triangle here. So that's two equal faces so far. Then we have to find the area of this slant face. You see, this is um, 8 by 13 here, guys. 8 by 13. So I'm, I'm actually going to write that. So we have an 8 by 13 rectangle we got to find. We also have two triangles that are a base of 12 and a height of 5. And the area of a triangle is 1 half the base times the height. So... I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can follow along if I can. I guess that's as big as they'll make me. Okay. Uh, so one half base times height. So one half times 12 times five. And then we have another triangle that's one half times 12 times five, the same exact one. And then we have this bottom face. This is 12 by 8, guys. 12 by 8. So 12 times 8. And then this back face, okay? This back face is 5 by 8. Okay, 5 by 8. All right. Now we're going to find the uh, product for all of those and then add them all up and find the surface area. So here's the go. And in, in your question, we'll have different numbers here. But you, you know, you follow the same uh, format here. So eight times 13, I do not have that memorized. No shame in that. I was never really fast at my basic facts, guys. But I think that's what makes me a good math teacher because I have a learning disability and it just takes me a little longer to do things. So I kind of understand how to explain things good, I think. Okay, so I got 104 here. And then one half times 12 times five, well, half of 12 is six, and then six times five is 30. That's a little hack that I do to get it going. And then this one's 30 as well. And then we have, hey, Bubbles, we have 12 times eight, and um, 12 times eight is 96. What I do is I go eight times two is 16, and then eight times 10 is 80, and then 80 plus 16 is 96. That's a little hack, math hack for you. Then that's 40. Now we're going to add all those up. Add all those up. Ooh, I see. Always look for 10 pairs, guys. See like 96 and 104, that's 200. 30 and 30 is 60. And then 60 and 40 is 100. 200 and 100 is a surface area of 300. Oh man, I hope that works. There's so much work here. There's so much like that could go wrong. And surface area is in meters squared. Whew. <laughs> I mean, I'm 39, and every time I see that, I'm like, oh, good. We got it right. These are hard. Bubbles, we got it right. All right, guys. Rectangular prisms. Hey, here's a good hack for rectangular prisms. Let me erase this for you. And... Uh, now that I'm older, the advanced way I like to do is I go, I know that there's a, look, look here, follow my cursor, a front face, which is 12 by 19, which is the same as the back face, which is, um, 12 by 19. Those two faces are congruent. And then we have the 19 by seven. And then this other face, 19 by seven, those two side faces are congruent. And then the bottom and the top, 12 by 7, and then this 12 by 7. And then you add them all up. So I know that there's two of each. So you could do this formula. 2 times the length times the width. 
plus two times the um, length times the height plus two times the width times the height. That will work. I think the easiest method is to go, um, and if this is intimidating, which I see how it could be for some of you, you could go two times the length times the width, and then two times equals, two times the length times the height equals, and then two times the width times the height equals. That's another way. A lot of my students, shout out to my students out there, like to do that way. And then I think the basic way, which is still a good way, is to do this. The front face and the back face are the same. So the front face and the back face are the same. And then the two side faces are the same. And then the top and the bottom, those are the same. Okay, now that we have that, are you sure I can't make this bigger? Not that I'm a diva or anything, kind of am, but I would just want to make this bigger. Okay. Well, hopefully you can see that. The front face is, follow my cursor, 12 by 19. So why don't I just write bigger? 12 times 19. And then the back face is also 12 by 19. The side face, follow my cursor, is 19 by 7. And then the other side is also 19 by 7. Okay. The um, It's funny. I hear my son's teacher, Miss Cool Lady, uh, teaching Crosley right now. So this is, uh, this is really kind of unique. Who would have thought we would be doing this? But this is, this is fun. I hope you guys like this. Kind of go at your own pace. 12 by 7 is the bottom, and 12 by 7 is the top. 12 by 7. 12 by 7. All right, guys. Now, go ahead and let's calculate those. I'm sitting at my piano. Oh, hope you don't hear my wife yelling at my son. All right, here we go. 12 by... 19 is 228. And then if you're doing that other way, you just multiply that by 2, okay? And then 19 by 7. 19 times 7. 133. 133. And then 12 by 7. 12 times 7. And then 12 times 7 is 84. 84. And then we just uh, combine them. 133 times 2. You see, that's where that times 2 part comes in. 266. And then 228 times 2 is 456. Now we just add them up. Add up those. So 456 plus 266 plus 168 is 890. So the surface area, grand total of 890 meters squared, meters squared. Let's see, did you guys get something like that? For yours, I know, you're, I know you have different numbers. 90 meters squared, uh, that's not meters squared. Volume would be meters to the third power. And um, surface area is meters squared. Let's see if that is correct. Where do I check answer? Oh, there you go. You guys ever have that issue too? Yep. Thank goodness. Okay. Let's smooth that down. Draw a net of the prism. The figure is not drawn to scale. Yeah, some of these aren't drawn to scale. Five by five on the top. Okay, rectangular prism has six faces. And the top face is a five by five. Then we have a five by 13. And then the front is also five by 13. So nope. Is there, are they saying that this is 13? No, no way. Nope, trying to trick us. 
not going to work. This one attaches here, so that's five. This one could be it. If this is 13, that means this is 13. This one's a maybe. Let me just move this out of the way. <laughs> not that one, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Bubbles, where are you? Don't be chewing up my piano. We got it. We got it. When we get it, I'll show you bubbles, okay? All right. Now we're on to the next one. Okay. So, which solid figure could be formed when folding the net along the dotted lines? The figures are not drawn to scale. Okay, guys. So, um, looks like the bottom is 12 by 3. That looks like a square pyramid. So, no, this is a prism. You see how these two bases, this is a triangular prism. So, it'll be right there. All right, almost done here with this assignment. Draw a net of a triangular prism. All right, well, this one is not complete. This just doesn't look right. That would not fold up right. Wait. That triangle is not congruent to that triangle. Maybe this is it. Okay, how would this fold up? Would this fold up right? I guess it would. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like visualize it folding. Do they want that one? I don't know if that will fold up right. This could be a glitch. Okay. Um, what, it was this one? All right, guys, is it just me or do you see that this face is not congruent to that face? Envision, envision you. Oh, oh I knew it wasn't that other one. Rectangular prism. Okay, obviously not B. That's a square pyramid. C doesn't have six faces. This one will fold up. Okay. Good bubbles. We got it. What is making that noise here? The picture shows bubbles. Pay close attention. <laughs> the picture shows a net of a triangular prism. What is the surface area in square inches of the triangular prism represented by this net? The figure is not drawn to scale. Choose the correct answer below. All right. So basically bubbles, we have to find the, um, the area of all five of those faces. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's do that. Let me erase this. Oh, magnets. Stay magnets. Okay, you guys try to do. You guys try to work out yours with me. And we have. Uh, I use the cursor. You can't see what I'm pointing at. This seven by three. You see that seven by three there? That's 21, so that's one face. And this rectangle is four. Wait, is they, are they saying that's by, that's seven? Seven. And this is three. So they're saying this is seven and this is, so it's definitely not to scale. All right. Now they're saying this is four and this is seven. I mean, they can make a little more effort on four and seven. Okay. All right. Is that frustrating to you guys too? And then this is seven, apparently. Oh, I can't get over that. I mean, it's like they're not even trying. Seven times four there. Is it though? No, this would be, because this would fold up with this, and that's five, the hypotenuse of this right triangle, that's five. So this is seven by five.
I mean, good thing you guys are watching because this is hard even for me. So I hope me walking you through this every day is helping. That's seven by five. Now we need the triangle, the base times the height divided by two. So three times four divided by two. So one half times four times three. Half of four is two times three is six. And then we do it again. And now we just uh, add all these up. Bubbles, we're, we're going to add all these up, okay? All right, 21 plus 28 plus 35 plus 6 plus 6. 96. So it's 96 square. Oh, thank goodness. Please be right. Please be right. Man, I do not know how you guys could have done that without help. All right, so where I think you could go wrong here is this hypotenuse here, which is the longest side of the triangle, goes with that. I think a lot of people would think that is four, but it's not. It goes right there. All right, good luck to you. A cube. Whew. Now, a cube has six faces, and they're all equal. So if we find the area of one face, we can multiply it by six and get it. All right. So the side length squared, the side length is seven by seven, seven times seven side length squared, seven squared or seven times seven is 49. And then 49 times six, 49 times six, 294, 294, and then it's in meters squared. All right. We did it, guys. Good job. Hey. Whoa, Bubbles. My name is Jason Jacobs. This is Bubbles. Shout out to my students out there doing their Envision. I hope this helped going over it with you. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye, guys. I hope you have a great day.